the spotlight on the Farm Women's Group Common Ground. Common Ground is a group of farm women who want to be a resource for consumers who want to know more about how their food is grown. Joining us today is Leslie Boswell. Thank you for coming in. I am so glad to be here. Yeah, good morning. Well, there's a little better today than it was <laughs> yeah. a couple days ago. How are the roads for you? Uh, they weren't too bad. A uh, mm -hmm. little slick here in town, but other than that, the highways are good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, alrighty. Well, it's a new year and a lot of people want to lose weight. Hmm, right? Don't we all? <laughs> New Year doesn't have anything to do with that, does yeah, it? It's like always we want to lose weight. Um, so one way to do that is to reduce sugar in our diet. And some people are trying to avoid uh, high fructose corn syrup. Is it bad for you? No. Very simple answer, no. Mm -hmm. High fructose corn syrup is made from corn, which we grow here in Nebraska. And it is a combination of a glucose and a fructose. And that's what the process that combines those two that makes it a sweetener is why it was given the unfortunate name of high fructose corn syrup. And it's had kind of a bad connotation for a long time, but it's actually been commercially available since about 1970. Wow. So you're saying it's not any different than just sugar? The molecules in it are exactly the same as the regular sugar. Sugar beets, sugar cane, and honey and high fructose corn syrup are all very, very close. Mm -hmm. It does seem that when you go to store shelves, there are products that have labels that say no mm -hmm. high fructose corn syrup. Mm -hmm. Do you think that that label maybe implies that high fructose corn syrup is bad? Mm -hmm. A number of years ago, there were some scientists or some doctors that said that it was bad for you. They had no science behind their, what they said but it gave people an image that it was not good for you and then the marketing took off with it. Uh -huh. And they started putting no high fructose corn syrup on a lot of different things that never would have had it in the first place. But they're playing into what people are perceiving as a bad thing. Mm -hmm. And it is not. It is, if you're gonna try to lose weight, mm -hmm. avoid all sugar or cut it down as, at least some. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very economical sweetener and that's why a lot of it is used in sodas in protein, or not in protein drinks, but energy drinks and a lot of stuff like that. A lot of over-the-counter things that are sweetened like cookies and things. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of stuff you need to be avoiding. It's not the high fructose corn syrup. It's just cutting down on your sugar intake altogether. Mm -hmm. Overall on these things, okay. Right. So are corn producers concerned about this product labeling? They're unhappy with it. I don't know that they're really concerned about it because a lot of these fads kind of rotate and phase in and out. Mm -hmm. um, they're assuming that at some point people will start to get the right idea about this, about it's not different than regular sugar and that it'll kind of go away. The production is still there. As long as we're still drinking soda pop, it's going to be there. Mm -hmm. So kind of the bottom line is when you're reducing sugar in your diet, reduce all sugars, all forms of sugar, not just mm -hmm. high fructose corn syrup. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And the one thing they say, the first thing to cut out is pop because it is worthless calories, I think. You're getting nothing out of it other than just the taste, and that would be a good place to start. Mm -hmm. Okay, Leslie, good to know. And you're sticking around. Another yes, recipe I am. to share. We love Wednesdays for that. Yes. Right, thank you. <laughs> All right.